Hello. This is going to be a different video. Um, I'm not going to show you my painting technique, but it will be artistic. Um, one of my great interests in this life is um, is construction, and not not in a typical way. Um, some of you know that I've built my own house um, from the ground up. Um, out of concrete by hand. Um, I'm very proud of that because it took a lot of work. <laughs> um, not like uh, I, I'm any great um, construction wizard or anything like that, but it has been a lot of fun and uh, I'm proud of myself. It's like I, I, I sometimes look at the amount of concrete that went into my house and you can see behind me it's still well under construction, very much under construction. But, um, and that's not the that's not the part that I'm most proud of by any means. But anyway, um, I uh, wanted to show you some of the more artistic stuff that I'm doing today. So turn this around. So first of all, um, so I don't, again, some of you may find this interesting artistically. Others may not, you may just be interested in painting, but I think a true artist is, uh, has a desire to, to be creative and to find um, inspiration from a variety of sources. So hopefully you'll find this um, inspiring to you. So I just added some uh, iron oxide uh, colorant to this sand mix. And sand mix is essentially just concrete mix without the rocks. It's just uh, Portland cement and, and sand. It's meant for going on the top of things. I've uh, already cured concrete and for other things like that. So basically for some detail type of stuff. So I'm showing you this just in case any of you, in case any of you are interested in doing something like this, and I'll show you in a minute. Uh, just wait, you'll be, I think it'll be worth the wait. I'll show you in just a minute. Um, but if you do decide to do this and um, color any, cementitious uh, material on your own, I would highly recommend doing what I'm doing now, which is mix the colorant into the dry mix first. Um, otherwise you'll get spots of the colorant that are extremely, extremely difficult to mix in. So I'm going to add some water to that, but first I'm going to show you what I do with it. Okay, so... We poured, poured regular concrete in this, in our house, just to get it um, relatively flat. And then I've been going through one section at a time and doing this faux stone, this flagstone. And we actually purchased some flagstone that, uh, that looks just like this, actually. Uh, but it's really, really expensive. It's, um, oh, there's my hand for size. Um, for a piece that big, it'd be about... You know, twenty-five to thirty-five dollars, depending on how thick it is. You know, that piece might be forty or more, and that would just make this um, extremely expensive to do. So, um, wanted to get this look while uh, saving money, and I feel like this is um, something I can take on while doing my art. And you can see my art in various places in the house, and drying and <laughs> staging for heading off to galleries. Um, anyway, so you can see here that I just place it down and uh, level it out and it's nice and slow, I love it. It's fun to be able to just do one section at a time and uh, you know, not, not do so much that, that I, oh sorry, that I kind of uh, waste an entire day or a week or, or let the concrete get away from me and you know, not be able to do it correctly. So, and that's actually how it was when we poured the, the rough um, uh, flooring in here. It's, you know, we had a stick that was marked and we tried to get it as close uh, to pop as we could, but uh, nine, yard, nine cubic yards of concrete is really difficult to do on your own. <laughs> and we knew it wasn't going to be perfectly flat and it also wasn't going to be the right color and all that stuff. So everything combined, this was the best way to do it. Um, I can't remember if I've showed you guys this or not. This is the 
this right here, this wall is made out of the old footing that our house was standing on. I say our house, but there's not really much left of it. Um, these, this part, those, these old beams were up there and still up there, but all the walls are, are brand new. And uh, you now we're slowly covering it up, um, plastering it in various layers, as you can see. And uh, it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> but uh, so what I've done is, so this one was uh, poured about four, four or five days ago. Uh, it's now finally dry on the surface. Um, it's probably pretty wet still underneath. So I'm gonna wait a few more days and then give it a good coat of boiled linseed oil. So it'll look like this. And then I've actually tried over here. So that has no linseed oil. These ones have one coat. This one has, well, these two have two layers, two coats of linseed oil. I think that's probably about as dark as I would want it to get. Um, it's actually a little darker than I really want it. But the neat thing with linseed oil is you can paint right over it with just artist's oil paint and do some speckles and uh, faux lichen. So, you know, I mean, this is a real stone. And so I could get them to look like this. And this is rough and kind of meant to look rough. But that makes a nice place to photograph paintings and you know, put them on social media <laughs> or whatever. And it's um, the first thing you see when you come in the house, which is pretty cool. And with this, faux stone floor. We saved a lot of money, as I mentioned, and it completes the look. Or it will when it's all oiled and it looks like it all fits. So various things going on. So I'm going to finish up that one batch that I started just a second ago. Add some water to that, mix it up. It'll be just like this. I just barely got this down. And uh, then over the course of a few hours, I you know, I'll go paint in the studio and then uh, come back and, you know, smooth it out um, very, you know, at various stages of its, uh, of its drying. Then after that, once it's dry enough to, to basically walk on, but still a little bit uh, soft, I'll go through with, I won't do it necessarily because this isn't ready, but I'll show you on this part. I'll go through with the edge of the trowel and, and carve out, you know, a, a, an edge like that. And then I'd go back in here and carve the edge of, of what would be this stone. And I'll try to make it be a natural shape and then fill it in with little pieces or things that look like pieces of stone the way I've done here. But, uh, oh, let me know what you think. Does that look pretty real? It's been fun when we've had people come over um, who weren't, weren't aware that, you know, what we're doing here. They come in and ask where we got the stone. So it's been fun to, to trick people. <laughs> so anyway, there's a little artistic project that I'm working on. Um, well, here, I'll reward you by at least showing you what, what this channel is supposed to be about. I'll go in and show you what I've been working on. I just um, got back from, well not just, but a couple weeks ago, I got back from Santa Fe, and this is still kind of a mess. Oh, by the way, um, I just found these. Um, you can get them at Home Depot or Walmart, and they're, these ones happen to be from Sam's Club, but they're about 30 bucks for these LED, um, LED lights, and I feel like they're going to be a great replacement for these. Now, these are nice because I, when I turn them on, here, I'll go ahead and do that. Sorry, I'm going to have to set the phone down for a second. And uh, while I plug this in. So you can see there are various shades of white. And for some reason, it's, it's showing up as green. That's not accurate. It's not really doing that. So yellow, blue, and kind of purplish. But, uh, and these tend to be actually more full spectrum. Um, I've just been happy with it as I've, as I've tested them out, so I'm gonna replace those. It'll save me some money and uh, 
that last a long time. So anyway, this is um, this is a semi-commissioned portrait, and uh, I spent a long, long, long time on it, trying to get the the likeness of this young woman, and she just had such a fun, bubbly personality that that came out um, as I was you know, well into this uh, photography session, and it's, it's really fun when when that personality comes out. At first, people are kind of shy and, you know, I'm kind of not necessarily shy, but, uh, but just, you know, we're kind of feeling each other out and it's, it's a fun process. And I feel like, at least for me, about the, why is that so bright? About the one hour mark tends to be when, when the magic starts to happen and it's a lot of fun. So I usually try to schedule an hour and a half or so, because really, once you hit that one hour mark, at least once I hit that one hour mark with, with the models that I've used, um, and without fail, it doesn't really matter who it is, even with my own kids or a perfect stranger, uh, about that one hour mark, we finally, I don't know if it's just that we start ignoring each other and kind of get sick of the process and just kind of uh, go with the inspiration instead of uh, trying to direct each other or respond to each other. But uh, whatever it is, it tends to be that way. Anyway, long story short, this, this girl um, was a lot of fun and smiled. And so for the first time in a long time, I'm doing a painting of the, the model smiling. And I'm gonna do a little bit of palette knife work back here that is gonna be really similar to, to some of these other ones with yellow fields of color in the background. And, uh, Oh, this was a fun one. I think it's fun. I think it's interesting. In, in a way, it's a little, I don't know, edgy and maybe even, I don't know, unnerving in some ways. But, you know, some people see it that way. I see it as just beautiful. Um, there's, you know, if you look in nature, um, at the huge variety of, of shapes and patterns that are happening. There's not a, you don't get this unnerved, you don't feel unnerved when you look at a field of flowers that sort of have um, just texture going on everywhere. But you see the whole field of flowers as, as one and it all works together. And that's kind of, kind of what I'm going for with these things. Um, I apologize for not uh, making this a painting video, but again, hope you, Hopefully you have felt inspired to do possibly a uh, non-fine art project that uh, that is uh, is actually quite artistic. So sometimes we need a break from one medium to do another. So all right, I'm gonna get back to work on this, add some water to it, and. Uh, get that next part um, done so that I can go paint again. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I will hopefully uh, do a painting demo soon, a portrait. Um, I've been gearing up for it, so, so hopefully you'll see that soon. Thanks for joining me. Go to my website, trentgoodmanson.com if you want to see what I've been up to. Also, these days I'm on Instagram a lot. <laughs> Not so much on Facebook as much, but uh, but on Instagram a lot. So join me there as well. Just trying Goodmanson. All right. Have a good day. See ya.